Well, I'm Artifacts Mars, and I have one that's straight out of the Twilight Zone. Missing Whiteface Skeeter found alive in California. And I have a playlist for this. Skeeter missing from Whiteface Mountain has been found in California. The New York State Police said Constantinos Danny Filipitas, 49 of Toronto, was found 2,900 miles away. Tuesday in Sacramento. Whiteface Mountain, just so you know, is in the Adirondacks here in sunny western New York State. Actually, more northern New York State, I guess. At any rate, uh, Philippines was reported missing last Wednesday by friends who said he could not be found as the resort was closing. His belongings were found in the lodge, and his car was still in the parking lot. That's a weird one. So he left everything behind, and somehow he made his way to California. He didn't fly, he didn't take a bus. I thought I saw a headline on the uh, road in a semi. I don't know about that. Since then, hundreds of volunteers have spent about 7,000 hours combing the mountain. Crews used canines and helicopters as part of the search. The steep and icy terrain makes the search even more challenging. Filipinos made contact with law enforcement officials, officers in Sacramento. He is reported to be in good health. Circumstances of Phil Pena's disappearance remain under investigation. Officials have not said why he went missing. Like I said, this one was really, really bizarre. If he showed up 10 miles away, I wouldn't care, but 2,900 miles away? For Tuesday, police said they had reason to believe Phil Pius was not on the mountain. Before Tuesday, uh, the Department of Homeland Security, New York State Police, New York Department of Conservation, United States Customs and Border Protection, and officials in Toronto assisted with the search. Phil Pitas is married father of two and 28-year veteran Toronto firefighter. He had been skiing with a group of firefighters and retired firefighters. Toronto Professional Firefighters Local 3888 President Frank Ramagano answered the reporter's questions Tuesday evening. I'm not going to... Uh, this guy didn't have... According to Ramagano, didn't have any history of mental illness or using dope. He said Filipinos was found wearing the same ski gear, including the helmet and goggles he was last seen when he was reported missing. State police did not see if Filipinos would face criminal charges. Now, this is really sticky because... How are you going to press criminal charges on if you don't know how he even got... California, and what they what they're saying is, I'm a little slow this morning, so please bear with me. But as uh, I worked overtime last night, I am a little groggy. How are you gonna press charges on this guy when you don't even know how he got to California? This is really really strange. He just often vanishes, and he winds up 2,900 miles away in Sacramento. 
I don't know. It's like I said, this one's straight out of the Twilight Zone, so judge for yourself. I have no ideas. I did see one headline some yeah. Perhaps hitched hit ride with in a semi, but I can't imagine a truck driver taking somebody 2,900 miles from the Adirondacks to California. There you have it. Uh, just what, not why, folks. Thanks for watching.